Raffaella. I am the co-founder and director of the Ashoka Visionary Program. That's a program where decision makers can dive into the Ashoka world of social entrepreneurship, social innovation and new leadership topics. Um, and there I can see that um, very often people believe that you cannot learn how to set up a social business. You cannot learn how to um, solve societal problems in an entrepreneurial way. Or they think that, you know, it's like any other business. You just need to kind of come up with a business case and a business plan and then you somehow make it happen. But we see that there are very different structures, very different challenges that you face when you want to solve societal problems in an entrepreneurial way. And you can learn them. You can learn about it in a very structured way as well. And so what we do at Ashoka, for example, we um, set up a program uh, that is along the life cycle of a social business. So the participants can actually dive into the challenges of how to come up with a business plan, how to come up with an impact chain, um, how to think about what impact they want to achieve, because this is uh, what usually you, you want to do most um, with, uh, uh, with a social business. And then how you can set up an organization that is fit to scale impact. And this is very different from any other business because if you want to make profit, very often you grow your organization. And if you want to scale impact, sometimes you do very different things. You just disseminate your knowledge freely or you set up social financing structures around the world in order to make sure also that the quality uh, of the services that um, the social um, entrepreneur is offering is, uh, stays the same around the world. You can scale products, like for example our Fairphone, um, Ashoka Fellow, uh, Bas van Abel. So there are very different ways of solving societal problems. And at Ashoka, we have a community of three and a half thousand of these social entrepreneurs. And um, we can access, we can, get, we can give access to these people and we can give access to the solutions that they come up with uh, for societal problems and we can also help to bring them where they are most needed. I think there is a deep need, deep, deep need for people uh, in, at, at a certain age as well and in leadership positions to um, come up with solutions for societal problems that they see uh, in their surrounding. And, um, and they do not want to stay in their silos anymore, uh, just performing and function a job that uh, was attributed to them. But they want to see the whole picture and also contribute to the whole picture. And how you can do that, uh, you can really learn. Yeah? It's like leadership. You can not learn charismatic leadership maybe, but you can learn how to lead, um, how to give guidance in many different ways. And that's also uh, what, 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 how we think about uh, social entrepreneurship, you can, you can really learn uh, how to become a social entrepreneur. What we want to achieve is that, that the people participating in our program and probably also with the MOOC is they realize that they actually are forming or are parts of a, of a group of people who want to achieve a societal change. And as this group, this is also an obligation because you get equipped with knowledge on how to innovate society, you get equipped on how to set up a social business, social entrepreneurship, and with this knowledge, do something. Get together with your peers, with the alumni of the program, maybe with people from Ashoka, um, and, and, and start to uh, create um, um, initiatives, ideas, projects that do really concretely solve problems uh, that, that you see uh, in your environment. So we see that you know all sorts of people are interested in joining um, our program. So you have business angels, business consultants, you have people from the public sector, from the private sector, you have from welfare organizations, from NGOs, and they really start to learn from each other. and. 
and it, it, it's really, I mean, this is part of what we experience is that it's really magic, you know, there is so much energy that kind of uh, suddenly emerges out of these groups just because they finally interact and they see that, you know, in interacting, in applying concepts and, and, and methodologies or even tools that they learn, um, they can they can actually uh, you know s serve society and solve uh, problems that they uh, that, that that we you know that they see in, in their surroundings. So that's really the most beautiful part of it, you know, bringing to together this this group of people and then you know starting starting to do something. <laughs> you know, be courageous enough to get connected first reach out to Ashoka, reach out to, to maybe your surrounding or your peers at the university or into the universities who are interested, to your professors. So get connected with them and, and immerse into this community and see also what, what happens and what, uh, what opportunities um, you will be able to, to maybe seize just because you decided to, to, to follow your curiosity and and, and just do it.